welcome ladies and gentle folk you're watching DRBC News with your host, a man more myth than mortal, DRBC007. That's me. So here in 2018, you can see my brand new studio. Lovely, don't you think? Martha, she likes it. I took her round back and gave her a little show and tell, if you know what I mean. Show. <laughs> We're going to be doing gaming news, entertainment news, a little bit of gossip, some channel updates, and of course, lots and lots of me. <laughs> yes. Oh, Because it's something new, I thought I'd kick it off with a 2017 ode to the gaming world and tell you my top five best games of 2017. Are you ready? <laughs> Steady? Let's go! Coming in at the rear, <laughs> like the rear, is number five, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. It was developed and published by Capcom and released in January, so right at the start of the year. But for me, it was an absolute blinder, bringing Resident Evil back to its roots, um, where we follow the civilian Ethan Winters. Oh, well, actually, I played Ethan Winters, so I didn't really follow him, but I was taking control of him as I searched for my dear wife, Mia. It led me to a direct derelict, rather, um, plantation inhabited by the freaky, I think they were called, yes, the Baker family. Freaky, freaky Baker family. Good old scares, a lot of jumps, great story. I enjoyed it thoroughly, and if you haven't played it, you definitely should. If you'd like a little bit of a horror kick, go out there and get Resident Evil 7 as an ode, yet again, to 2017. Coming in at number four is Call of Duty World War II. A very, very good game that almost missed out on my list because of some serious caveats. Um, like the, the inclusion, I'm sorry, but it really, really irks me of, um, I'm sorry, African soldiers playing for Nazi teams. Um, females fighting on the front lines. Don't get me wrong, there's absolutely nothing wrong with including them, but if you're playing for a historical and accurate shooter, as the publishers continued to say, that is not something that happened. It just didn't, okay? Um, also, the exclusion of the swastika was very, very annoying. You're fighting the Nazis. Don't make it just about fighting the Germans. You fought the Nazis, and Nazis weren't just Germans, okay? So don't erase that. But other than that, the gameplay is fantastic. The gun game is just as good as it was with the Modern Warfare 1 and twos of this world, so it brought it back to what the developers continue to say is boots on the ground. Um, and I have to agree, a very, very good game, multiplayer is fantastic, a punchy and interesting story campaign. I think it's well worth a spot on this list. If you're looking for a number three, then you have PUBG. It probably would have pipped it a little bit closer to the top of my list, but unfortunately I haven't been able to play it as much as I'd want to, just simply because I had to get a job, um, well, not a job, but another job. Um, I had to move house, I didn't have to, but I did, and I'm also expecting a daughter. So um, I didn't play it as much as I wanted to, and the fact it's mainly on PC, and I play a lot predominantly on PlayStation. But what a game, an open battle royale where you can scavenge and kill, betray and fight. Um, what more do you want? If you haven't played it yet, please do. Get out there and do it now. Um, Xbox, you're lucky because I believe it's just dropped. Um, uh, otherwise it's on PC, but PUBG, Player Unknowns, Battlegrounds, fantastic. That's my number three. If you're looking for a number two, you need to look just towards a number one. I'm talking about Battlefield 1. Yes, of course, if you want to drive a tank, pop people like meat-filled balloons, or of course, if you want to jump in a plane and crash it into the side of a cliff, or take a sniper and sit at the back, popping off heads. Um, potentially, you could also take a machine gun and chug away like it's no tomorrow. Um, assault, medic, healing, dying, running, crying, singing if you like, a bit like me. A game that has so many positives and very few flaws. Of course, you've probably played it. You definitely know about it. It doesn't need an introduction. It doesn't need much explanation. Battlefield 1 was just pipped to the post by the number one, which is Horizon Zero Dawn. This game took me by surprise. It's not one I'd uh, potentially usually play, but I was intrigued by the art design, by the open world nature, and the fact there was a female heroine, because I like the ladies. Mm -hmm. um, it took me into a dinosaur mechanical fused world. Great graphics, a fantastic and engaging storyline, interesting gameplay mechanics, including fighting, and of course, the dinos. The, well, they're not really dinos, what do you call them? Mechanical beasts of war. You can ride them, you can tame them. It 
it's just fantastic. And as you can see with the gameplay rolling, I really did enjoy this game. Um, there was a lot to offer. There's other titles that came out, like Senua's Sacrifice, and you could even go as far as saying Cuphead. Um, but for me, the games that I've played, I don't think I can beat that list. I think that's pretty accurate. Of course, other notable mentions, Little Nightmares, a very, very, very good PS4 exclusive. Um, oh, is it exclusive? I don't know, but I played it on PS4. I'm pretty sure it doesn't come out on Xbox. Um, and there was one more. But to be honest, can't even remember. So because of it's New Year's and my head is a tiny bit achy from the copious amounts of alcohol that I drank the night before and the fact that I don't really sleep very much at the moment, um, I would like to sign off this DRBC News with a very special message to you all. It's 2018. Let's remember to make this year great again! I mean, let's just make it great. <laughs> yes. If you like this video, please do remember to hit that like button right now. Subscribe if you haven't already with notifications turned on. And if you want more gaming reviews, if you want more news, if you like this format of video, please do let me know in the comments below because more are coming for you and I want to make them as best as they can be. But for now, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I've been DRBC007 and you've been watching DRBC News.